Ukraine is facing fierce Russian resistance in the south and east, as it plugs away with a counter-offensive to retake Russia-occupied territory. The enemy did everything to defend the captured positions, the Russians actively used military strikes and aviation, and carried out intense artillery fires. During the offensive, Ukrainian troops encountered continuous minefields, which were joined by anti-tank trenches. All this was combined with constant counterattacks by enemy units on armored vehicles and the massive use of ATGMs and kamikaze drones. The Ukrainian forces have been gaining ground, but fighting is taking place for every meter. This is the moment desperate Russian troops sent a tank crammed with six tons of explosives toward a Ukrainian position before detonating it. Footage shows a Soviet-era T-54 tank packed with explosives rolling towards a Ukrainian trench near Marinka, Donetsk Arblast, guided by a remote control. It then hits a landmine before being struck by a Ukrainian rocket, causing it to burst into a raging ball of smoke and fire. But the tank embarrassingly missed its target, having detonated around 200 feet from the Ukrainian troops. Ukrainian Armed Forces units conducted successful assault operations in the Bakhmut sector. The assault was conducted in the areas of Rozdalivka, Krasnopolivka, and Berkivka, Yahidne. At the same time, fighting continues near the villages of Novodanilivka and Novopokrovka in the Zaporizhia region, as well as near the village of Markarivka in the Berdyansk sector. Earlier, Ukrainian defenders liberated Blahadatny village in Donetsk Arblast, fighting still continues around the settlement. Some of the artillery pieces were destroyed by GMLRS precision-guided missiles for HIMARS. All MSTIS were located in the Zaporizhia region. The Ukrainian military destroyed five Russian MSTAS self-propelled artillery systems within a single farm field. After analyzing the video of the Ukrainian armed forces soldiers, the analyst was able to establish the exact location of the MSTAS battery. It turned out that all of them were destroyed in the area of Hiorhivka in the Zaporizhia region, they were located about 10 to 12 kilometers from the front line. Judging by the scattering of debris in some of the footage, the artillery was destroyed by high-precision GMLRS missiles with tungsten balls. The video shows them flying around the impact site, such munitions are used by HIMARS and GMLRS. The soldiers of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade used small arms to clear a fairly fortified area near Bakhmut. The operation also involved the evacuation of a wounded comrade. Soldiers of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade drove Russian invaders out of the forest belt near Bakhmut. The video was posted on the telegram of the armed forces of Ukraine. Ukrainian attack aircraft entered the location where the occupiers had set up positions. The enemies also set up a system of fortifications consisting of dugouts. All of this allowed them to reduce the threat from Ukrainian defenders, but in the end, it did not help. Soldiers of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade used small arms and cleared the area. The fighters also used American-made infantry fighting vehicles for support. The volunteer group Escadrone, manufacturers of FPV kamikaze drones for the needs of the front line, posted a video on Telegram of the use of the new Pegas Plus series device on Russian occupiers' armored vehicles. The enemy's combat vehicle was blown to pieces. According to the manufacturer, the drone has received a number of improvements, new software firmware, more payload capacity, longer range, and more endurance. Pegas Plus has been modified to meet the needs of special forces units and handed over to the best pilots. And these crews are already showing fantastic results. This footage shows Ukrainian mine-clearing vehicles detonating explosives in a field to make way for soldiers ahead of a much-anticipated counterattack on invading Russian forces. At least three Ukrainian war machines advanced across the field, with Ukrainian troops detonating mines in an attempt to clear the way for their other military forces. A war machine equipped with a device in front of it is directed to detonate mines in its path. Another military vehicle was seen launching a short-range rocket attached to a cable to detonate an explosive device hidden in the field. Three Ukrainian military vehicles managed to reach the other side of the field, by the trees, as the footage ends. The Russian attack near the city of Donetsk was stopped by Ukrainian troops, with two Russian armored vehicles led by a tank attacking the Ukrainian defenses, but one of the vehicles was hit by artillery or a mine and stalled. Russian troops tried to get into another vehicle when the driver turned around, the working vehicle fled the battle leaving several troops in the field, the battle took place near Avdiivka, in southern Ukraine. In the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, 
Ukrainian troops are cleverly converting commercial drones into FPV loitering munitions, fitted with small explosives, which allow operators to conduct live reconnaissance during strike missions. This technology witnessed significant development during 2022-23 amidst the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Examples of these low-cost drones include the Escadron Pegasus and Viri drone Molfar. A video published on Telegram reveals the moment in which Ukrainian soldiers successfully used FPV loitering ammunition to destroy Russia's first UMZ ZIL-131 mine-laying system. This system is an extremely rare Russian army-engineered combat vehicle. In significant victories against Russian troops, the Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed important Russian military vehicles, including a Azoapark, 11L219 artillery reconnaissance radar vehicle and Boris Aglebsk, 2 electronic warfare vehicle, utilizing precision-guided rockets fired by the M142 HIMARS multiple launch rocket system. A video shared on Telegram on June 15, 2023, showed the Ukrainian forces targeting and eliminating a Zoopark, one artillery reconnaissance radar vehicle and a Boris Aglebsk, two electronic warfare vehicle, both critical to the Russian military operations. The vehicles were located near the city of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, a region that has seen intense conflict in recent days. The successful operation was the result of a collaborative effort between artillery units and Ukrainian special forces. The special forces identified and provided the precise positions of the Zoo Park, one artillery reconnaissance radar complex and the Boris Aglebsk, two electronic warfare station vehicle. Once this crucial information was transferred, the artillery units were able to target and successfully destroy these vehicles using the M142 HIMARS rocket launchers. As the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported, the enemy's total combat losses since the beginning of the war amounted to about 216,650, of which 470 people were liquidated over the past few days. This list only includes destroyed vehicles and equipment for which photo or video graphics evidence is available. Therefore, the amount of equipment destroyed is significantly higher than recorded here. Loitering munitions, drones used as unmanned bait, civilian vehicles, and derelict equipment are not included in this list. All possible effort has gone into avoiding duplicate entries and discerning the status of equipment between captured or abandoned. Many of the entries listed as or abandoned will likely end up captured or destroyed. Similarly, some of the captured equipment might be destroyed if it can't be recovered. When a vehicle is captured and then lost in service with its new owners, it is only added as a loss of the original operator to avoid double listings. When the origin of a piece of equipment can't be established, it's not included in the list. The Soviet flag is used when the equipment in question was produced prior to 1991. This list is constantly updated as additional footage becomes available.